It's Momonty. Lexi Momonty. Hey now, it's your girl Lexi Mo, and I'm back in this thing with a little more flavor. I know y'all like, girl, why is you cleaning your sink? Well, I'm getting the sink ready to show you guys how I wash my bundles. And you know, you gotta start off with a clean sink. So before this video gets started, make sure you smack, 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 smack that thumbs up button. Let's get this video 500 likes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and no notification bell so you can be notified of all videos. And let's get into this video. So I normally start off with the bundles that go in the back, which would normally be the longer bundles if, you know, you go by different lengths, you know, layer wise. So it just helped me keep up with what hair is which hair. And what you guys see me doing right now is folding it so I can get it like it don't be too long, hard to deal with. And the, what I do is turn on the hottest water, like no cold water at all, just pure hot water. But do it how you can handle it. It's different for everybody, but I like to wash mines out with pure hot water. And before I put any soap, I like try to wash out as much oils and stuff as I can. There is a boiling method, but I'm saving that for another video. After I rinse it all out and get it all clean, I wash it with dishwashing liquid. And this is for to get all the oils and greases and everything out. The better the dishwashing liquid, the better the hair. Like I prefer Dawn. If you want to use anything, use Dawn, but I didn't have that, so I used Ajax. And it really cleans it really good, like really, really, really good. And the main focus for me is like the track areas because that's the part that's sitting in your head is collecting all the oils, the dirt, the grease, everything. So yeah, just make sure you scrub and get it really good, really, really good. You can see how I'm focused on the track areas because that's really where I'm trying to get the oils and stuff out. We're still going to go in and wash it with shampoo, but this is to make sure it's squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. As you all can see how I'm washing it, um, I've seen a lot of different methods and a lot of different ways, and a lot of people don't like to wash the hair full like this, like with the strands but as you guys can see my hair is not tangling it's not shedding it's actually working out great for me this is the way I like to wash it because it actually gets it get it very very clean so after the wash and scrub routine with the dishwashing liquid you're gonna once again take that extremely hot water and rinse it out get all the soap out just look how good the hair is already so the next step is this shampooing and this shampoo is amazing you guys you can find it at big lots for like two dollars and fifty cents but it is amazing and you're gonna take this shampoo and you're gonna do the same exact thing you did with the dishwashing liquid. Wash it out thoroughly and girls, you know how it feels when the hair is clean. It's just like your normal hair. It's like a squeaky, just dried out. It's nothing left in the hair. So you just wash it and wash it until you feel that. You're gonna feel the change within the hair and your fingers. You'll feel the change. So just wash it good. And this time it's not just focus on the track area. This time actually get good in all the hair. Now the shampoo might start tangling up the hair a little bit, but it doesn't matter because you're not doing any combing or anything to this hair until conditioner touches it. So just make sure you wash it thoroughly and when you rinse it out, you rinse it out thoroughly 
and get every everything out of it just make sure you get all of the soap out and just look how beautiful the hair is though you can see that it tangled up a little bit though and it's actually like super clean now like you can see it i'm trying to m massage like where it's very tangled massage it a little bit like when you do the hair like that it kind of untangles itself so you don't have to like comb it out and pull out chunks or anything then i wring it out you see how i wring it out like I scrunch it together then you just put it to the side and start the rest of the hair so after you guys wash it out the best thing to do is like lay it flat on like a towel or something just to keep it from tangling up and everything and yeah so I guess I'm going to finish washing the rest of the bundles really, really quick. And I'll see you guys at the next clip. Okay, I have all the bundles washed. Those are the front bundles. Those are the back bundles. So what I'm going to do is move everything off the towel. And I'm going to start with the back bundles the same way. I did it washing it I'm gonna start with the back bundles and now we're gonna condition the hair have the same conditioner as a shampoo and like I said you can find it at big lots for two dollars like two dollars and fifty cents but this is amazing especially the conditioner it is amazing it is life-changing and so the first thing I do was condition, make sure I condition the track part very, very good. And then I start conditioning throughout all the hair. Try to condition it like really, really, really good. And you gotta make sure you get like all the hair. Like you're gonna feel the hair change to from dry to very, very silky. Especially if you have like good shampoo i mean good conditioner if you have great conditioner the change is going to be amazing like i don't know if you guys can really see it that good in this video but it was amazing as i was doing it i really love this conditioner it works better to me than like name brand shampoo and conditioner and this is amazing so yeah you just condition it up really good like you guys see me make sure you guys get both sides don't condition one side and think, oh, it's going to get through. Like, no. Condition both sides, especially the track area. Condition them both. You want the hair to look nice, natural, healthy, and almost brand new. So, yeah. Okay. After you condition it thoroughly, make sure it's conditioned very well. We're going to lay the track straight, flat down. And you're gonna separate pieces and sections and start to brush it down from the root area like from the track you're like you're gonna brush down with the weave brush or a white girl brush or however you guys call it but the comb brush that's what I call it you're gonna comb down like exactly the way I'm doing it if you do it any other way you're going to pull hair out you're going to pull hair out and just comb it down like you just see how I'm brushing it down getting it nice and smooth nice and smooth then after that you take that section and I'm going to braid it like I braid it through the section some people they don't they just condition it and comb it down but I don't have a flat iron at the moment so when I put this in my hair it's going to kind of be like a little wavy and I'm not going to be able to flat iron it. But if I don't braid it, it's going to be wavy and poofy. So we just braid it down. I put the conditioner bottle so I can hold it, but I'm just going to braid it all the way down. This hair was originally like loose wave, I think. So we're just going to try to loose wave it back up. And I will show you guys. I'm going to do another video and show you guys how it actually looks after I unbraid it. But you see, you just condition, brush it out, and braid it like I did that one. Dab a little conditioner on it after you braided it. 
So, you know, more conditioned, the best. And you're just going to continue to repeat this step throughout the whole bundle. So just part it in parts how you want it. I did them in little sections so I can have like smaller braids. So the wave can be a little like deeper and skinny just for pattern reasons but do it how you feel you want to do and that's about it like you just braid it down and i'm going to finish the rest of this and meet you guys at the next step so now we have all the bundles here conditioned combed out braided up and what you see me doing here is stacking them all up so I can roll them in this towel so they can get like deep condition. Normally I do it, let it sit overnight for 24 hours. Before this video, I will let it sit for like 30 minutes to an hour. So yeah, see you guys the next step. So yeah, we're just about finished. We're gonna take the towel, unwrap it with the bundles. And just look how beautiful this hair looks already. We're going to use extremely cold water for this. Just cold water. And you're going to rinse all the conditioner out. You don't want to rinse it out to where it's back like super dry with no moisture. That's why we're using cold water. But make sure you get like right there above the track area the part that's not really braided rinse that out very very well the braid you have to like squish it while you rinse it so you know the water's getting through each little braid area but we actually need everything that's in the conditioner so we're not really trying to wash it all out but look at this hey oh my goodness you guys look at the hair it is so beautiful look at it mmm just beautiful but I'm gonna do this rinse it out rinse them all out I know you guys don't want to watch me go through every piece of hair so I'm gonna rinse it out and see you guys at the last step so yes so you guys we finally made it to the last step all you're gonna do is just take it, lay it on a towel, spread it out so it can air dry. I'ma keep it braided so when it dries, it still has that um, pattern that it's gonna have from the braids. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys learned something from it. And Make sure you smack, 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 and you smack, smack that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 500 likes. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified of all videos. Don't forget to drop that hashtag, Mo Posse. Let me know a part of my posse. Let me know a part of my team. Let me know a part of my family. Don't forget to drop in that description and follow all of my social medias and everything. And I love you guys. I'm out of here. Posse out. Mo Posse, Mo Posse, Mo.